Hey guys, it's Trevor from the Wonder of Cichlids again. I'm just going to do a quick update video here of some of the stock we have. Show you a sample of the colours and the size of what we got in. Um, we have gotten in a lot smaller species, nice litten rafts, Placidochromis, uh, rare juveniles. I won't be putting them in this video because they're unsexed and they're uncoloured. But if you go onto our Facebook business page, the Wonder of Cichlids LLC, you will see plenty uh, pictures that I've posted from the, the breeders of the the fish we got in, the juvenile fish we got in, and they're truly amazing. So feel free to go check that out. Um, please, uh, if you have any questions, contact us through, through uh, Facebook, YouTube, or uh, thewondercichlids.com. I'll be definitely willing to help you all with any questions. Uh, stay tuned for a couple of more videos we'll be doing in the next week or two. One about water hardness and treating water, buffering it for the the betterment of fish keeping and the health of your fish. So I uh, enjoy the video, guys. Thank you. So today I'm just going to start quickly here with the red rubens. If any of you were on uh, Nicola Gauss Aqua House Gauss's uh, website, you would have seen um, the pictures of the breeders of these guys. These are an absolute stunning strain. Beautiful females here as well, nice barring. So those are the red rubens. Here we've got another beautiful uh, Olenacara, Stuart Grand Thai Chilumba. Absolutely beautiful meals here. A bit skittish, but. I just got the kids on the bus to school and um, the lights just went on, so they're a small bit. Um, Skittish, but it's hard to find times these days to get videos and stuff done with kids' activities, etc. You know, so those are the Chilumba, and here we've got a newly added fish from Gauss. One we haven't got in in the past is the Olenacara green face Salosi. So these guys are just out and they get some nice colour in them. Some females as well if someone's interested in breeding something different. So yeah these guys are going to make nice fish. Just starting to colour up nicely also. So there's your green face Salosi. Here is one of my favourite that we started bringing in from Gauss in the last couple of months. The Olenacara Mazinzi Reef. Another rare Olenacara. These guys are definitely a fish if you're into breeding unique and rare fish. This is definitely a fish for you. Some nice females in here as well. Some beautiful males. So those are men's Mazenzi. And here we've got some beautiful Copodochromus Azorius Mabenji from Gauss. Beautiful fins in these guys, nice and sharp. All these fish have perfect fins, they're absolutely stunning. Nice consistent spotting on those females as well. Nice clean females, exactly what you want if you're going to breed something. Absolutely stunning clean stock here. Yeah. 
And here we have some uh, hybrids, some Olenakara hybrids. We've got orange necks, red necks, whatever you want to call them. What would you call this guy? A nice little pink guy with some blue. These guys are a good size actually, they're easily um, four and a half to five inches. Good size males. Very um, striking colours. So when my wife comes down to the fish room, this will be the fish, the one tank she'll go to. She's like, oh, these are beautiful. But um, they will have that effect on some people. But here you go, some beautiful OBs. And here we've got some Olenakara, Stuart Grant Diocesia. These guys with the beautiful top black fin and black dorsal. Black anal fin also. So these guys are beautiful, they've shown beautiful colour. Some nice females in here also. Nice and clean looking. So there's Reusis here. And here we've got some uh, Olenakara, Jacob Freeburg guy, Mamalella, Undu, Lemon Jake. And it's a long enough name, huh? I said I'd get it all in today. For those who will understand my brogue. So these are some really nice males, some nice colour on these guys. Here's a Dimidochromis strigatus male. There's actually four males in here, but there's um, one really dominant male. And there you go, but uh, we do have four males available. And here's a dominant guy. I gotta show you this guy. It's a Dimidochromis Compercepts. I've only got one left. He's a large male. He's about six to seven inches, this guy. So, if you're looking for a nice show comp, here you go. Beautiful male. And here we've got some Olenakara, Stuart Grantai, Malara Yellow. Amazing yellow on these guys. Nice gold strain fish here. And here we've got some Friar Eye Icebergs. Nice dominant male here. Another young male up here. So these guys are fairly young. This male just starting with a blaze. Plenty females with these guys also. So there's a fryer eye icebergs. And here we've got some of the all in a cara being chai benga. Some beautiful males on show. 
nice blue faces some nice females here also Those are the bench of bingo. And here we've got the Olenakara red flush. These guys are pretty nice. Nice blue, nice red in the collar, and they get nice red under the breast, which is kind of hard to make out in this video. But as they get older, that red develops more under the breast area, the chest, is what they call it. Those are all the red flush. Here we've got the Olenakara Molana white color. Some beautiful males in this group. Some nice young males. Those are the bike colors. And down here we've got some Olenakara Melandi Eccles Reef. Beautiful sulfur heads on these males. So we don't have many males in this lot, but these guys make beautiful breeding fish. Beautiful. Some of the girls. So those are our male and I, Eccles Reef. And here we've got some Placid Acromus species JLO. Some nice females, some nice young males in here. Showing nice colour. Very vibrant. Some subdominant males, but it's like everything else you take out the dominant male and the next guy colours up. Which happens with a lot of these species. So, those are our uh, young JLO. It's a beautiful male right here, nice yellow on the fins. So, this is the pure strain Friar Eye from Mallory Island. These are still young, I mean, these guys get a good six, seven inches, you know. So these guys are barely hitting four inches, but just nice deep blue in them. This guy just about getting a nice red anal fin. So you can see the differences between these and the icebergs. They're just starting to get a little white ivory head in them, not as prominent as the regular guys. So if you're looking for the pure strain fryer eye, we've got a couple of dominant males here. And we've got some females, so not everybody's into the line bread or the hybrids. So if you're looking for some pure strain, matter I, here we got them. There's some females also. So 
So down here I just have a few meals. We've got those uh, plastic acromas, electric, electric blue. Electric blue, sorry, not to be mistaken for the Electra. They have a different body shape, different head shape. But, um, some young males here. So these are smaller males. About three inch to three and a half inch, but they're not bad looking. And we also have some Verdenai, um corporate chroma species, dark blue. We do have some other um, different males here, some younger males. And speaking of very younger males, we've got some Stuart Grant Dye Cobway. These guys are absolutely amazing. Couple of nice dominant males here at their size, only about three and a quarter inches. Starting to get the red as well but beautiful beautiful males you know females here spawning like crazy as well as a small size so some of our nicer younger males here as well stunning fish And here we've got some good size Olenakara Eureka Red and from Gauss. When I get too close to these guys, they're so skittish, they'll hit the lid. Those are the Eureka Red. And up here we've got some nice Prodomelis, Bolanodus, Tanzanias. Some nice colored males here, some nice females also. And we do still have a few turkeys males left. And we do have a couple of turkeys females. So if you're looking for some all in a cara species turkeys, we still have some males available. Some guaranteed males. Here we've got some little bit sulfur heads, lime bread species. And we've got a few red emperors here. The light doesn't do these guys justice, being honest about it. The lighting on these tanks. But there are some nice Nambalangia red males here. And here we've got some Friar Eye OB hybrids. So there's a lot of females in this tank because we got a request for a lot of females from a couple of breeders. So here you can see is one of the males. Another male back here. Another young male back here showing a lot of spotting.
and I still have a few nice Mori eyes as well available. Nice dominant male there with dark blue fins. And here we have some Taiwan reefs. These guys have beautiful H barring, a bit skittish. Nice red anal fins, nice white ivory heads as well, the way they should be. Like guys, there's some of these tanks here, the light are very, very dim. It doesn't show the fish that great, you know, but I mean, they're holding tanks for us, and quarantine is very important as well, so. I'm more worried about the care for the fish than the lighting, being honest about it. But as you can see, um, we have uh, some nice, beautiful Taiwan reef males. Some beautiful H-barring females as well. And here we've got some Placidochromus venachillus, Tanzanian lupingu, aka star sapphires, some young males. And the females here with some nice barring also, a nice shape. Here we've got some German strain firefish, some young males, some nice females. I don't have that many left to these guys, but that's the subdominant male. The dominant male is actually gone, but we still got a lot of growing and coloring to do. And here we've got one of the German firefish. Might look a bit better because they, they don't look that great in the tank, you know, with the lighting. As you can see, this is actually one heading out later today, so I had them ready to go. So here we've got some uh, Copetochromus, Borlei, Kadango Redfin. It's been a while since I got a group of these guys in, actually. But we had uh, a request for them, so we brought them in, and uh, we still have some left. So uh, we have some really, really nice four-inch males. Absolutely beautiful. So they're young males, but they're nice. You know, these guys go into good size, but they're very calm fish. Some breeding behavior too by them. So there's your Borei Kadango red fin because the females have red fins. And here are some beautiful Prolomelis Labradins we got in. Some nice sized males here, well over four inches. Any of you guys looking to breed this fish? It's not that common of a fish. I do have about three females available, I think. Three left anyway. As we hit some on pre-order. So there's some nice green males here. Something you're not going to see every day. Beautiful strain, very clean. So those are the Labradins.
So thanks for watching guys. That's only a sample of what we have. We've got a fairly um, extensive uh, stock list. I'd be here all day going through all the different fish and the juveniles. But uh, check out the juveniles. We've got some uh, nice juveniles like Gold Harbor. And uh, we've got Blue Placid Acromus, Blue Waters, Tisana Rocks that you don't see every day. So um, please contact me if you have any questions. Check out our Facebook business page. Give us a like, a subscription to YouTube. We'll try and get more uh, pictures done shortly or more videos I should say. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do it without you. You guys are the best. Take care and have a good week.